Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While there has always been complaint about the weight of Arjun tank, it is still a beast on the plains and was never designed for mountainous warfare, adopting the design philosophy of western tanks which are close to 60 tons and above in weight. Arjun has outgunned the Indian Army's T-72 and T-90 abilities in various trials. According to information published by the Tactical Report on March 16, 2022, Bahrain is reported to be in talks with India for the procurement of Arjun Mark II main battle tank. It is also reported that an Israeli-Indian co-designed laser system will be installed on the delivered MBTs. Currently, Bahrain forces are operating 180 American M60A3 which is quite old and are second generation tanks. Now, if we talk about Arjun Mark II, it's a futuristic main battle tank with electro-optical sensors and high-power lasers. It has been developed by DIDO with a total of 93 upgrades as per the requirements of the Army. The design of Arjun Mark II is conventional with driver at the front of hull, turret in the middle with gunner, commander and loader and engine compartment at the rear. It was unveiled for the first time to the public during a military parade for National Day in Delhi on 26 January 2014. The 120mm rifle gun of Arjun, together with newly developed super-velocity ammunition, can defeat any contemporary armor used in tanks. The electro-slag refined gun steel tube is designed to withstand high gas pressures. A thermal jacket prevents the irregular temperature distribution onto the tube due to weather influences. It features a thermal sleeve fume extractor and a muzzle reference system. The gun is able to fire full range of ammunitions including FSA PDS, HESH, PCB, TB and Israeli laser homing anti-tank missile. The Arjun's barrel offer better life when compared to T-series of tanks. It can fire almost twice the number of rounds compared to T-series of Russian tanks from its main gun. If you ask me one major improvement in Arjun Mark II, it is the missile firing capability from the gun's barrel which was not possible in Mark I. This was demonstrated back in 2004 with Israel Aerospace Industries laser homing attack or anti-tank missile LAHAT. Arjun features a computer-controlled integrated fire control system incorporating day-come-night stabilized sighting system which guarantees a very high first round hit probability and reduced reaction time to bring effective fire on targets. The stabilization system of the main armament slaved to the sight equipment in elevation and azimuth with a high and accurate laying speed allows fire on the move. Arjun has a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for anti-personnel and 12.7mm machine gun for anti-aircraft and ground targets are provided as secondary weapons. The tank has special containers to carry 39 projectiles of 120mm ammunition. These containers keep the ammunition away from the crew providing an additional level of survivability. The rear side faces of the turret are fitted with up to 12 smoke graded discharges. The MK2 will have an improved commander's panoramic sight and night vision hunter-killer capability between the commander, gunner and the loader. The gun's main sight consists of a day-night thermal sight, a laser rangefinder and a stabilized head common to all three channels. The common sighting head mirror is stabilized in elevation and azimuth. The day sight provides dual magnification. The thermal imager provides night vision facility to the gunner and the commander to observe and engage targets in total darkness in the presence of smoke, dust, haze and light camouflage. Integral with the main sight is the laser range finder by which targets can be ranged accurately. Commander's panoramic sight enables the commander to have all-round surveillance in the battlefield without removing his eyes from the sight and without being disturbed by the turret motion. The field view is stabilized with the help of two-axis rate gyro mounted on the platform of the head mirror. The sight offers dual magnification. The battle management system of the tank has been developed by DIDO and Israel's Elbit system. The system connects the tank to other fighting units in the battlefield, thereby enabling the network warfare. 
It is also equipped with GPS-based navigation. Upgrades to the tank include a laser warning control system, a tank urban survival kit, which includes aerosol smoke grenade system, IR jammer and laser warning, and tank simulators. The MK2 will feature a remote control weapon system atop the turret. In MK1, this required the loader to come out and fire the weapon. The driver's seat is now suspended from the roof compared to being fixed to the floor on the MK1 which provides better mine protection capability. Each Arjun MK1 costs Rs 20 crore plus. Each Arjun MK2 with all improvements will cost approximately 34 crore. The life cycle cost of the Arjun will be much cheaper than any other tanks. Now in terms of protection, the hull and turret of the Arjun Mark II will have a new design and are fitted with an ERA explosive reactive armor protection which seems to be designed based on the Russian Contact 5 technology which is mounted on T90s and some other Russian main battle tanks. It is protected by indigenously designed Kanchan composite armor that consists of ceramic tiles and composite panels sandwiched between rolled homogeneous armor plates which has been tested against a variety of modern anti-tank munitions including APFSDS. Tank is motorized by a single German MTU 838K501 10-cylinder diesel engine rated at 1400 horsepower. It can run at a maximum road speed of 58 km per hour and 40 km per hour in cross country with maximum cruising range of 500 km. The Arjun MK2 in future will be powered by indigenous 1500 horsepower or 1800 horsepower engine with an automatic transmission system collectively called the Bharat Power Pack. It will also replace the current 1400 horsepower Euro Power Pack based on German MTU Series 880 engine. Bharat Power Pack will be two thirds in its size as that of Arjun tank engines and will come up with transmission system and includes a cooling system, air filtration, preheater, turbocharger, electrical system and power management and can be further customized for desert or high altitude operations depending upon the user requirements. This engine will be capable of operating at altitudes of up to 16,400 feet and temperature as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius and as high as 52 degrees Celsius. The Bharat Power Pack with some changes in the engine control unit can also be used on amphibious vehicle and can also be adapted to power the next generation infantry fighting vehicles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.